Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade and today we're gonna journal together. I'm actually in the car. We're currently on our way to Brooklyn. We're in New York right now. It's 7 a.m. I feel super stressed because if you guys don't know me, um, I'm someone who feels overwhelmed if I don't put things on paper. Yes, I have Apple Calendar. Maybe you just pick Apple Notes, but I need a physical plan and action things to do all the tasks I do. Um, I run a business, I post on social media, and for a lot of us juggling many things at once, I legit want to throw up sometimes because I feel overwhelmed. So yeah, we're on the road. I'm gonna journal with you guys this morning, like real time. So if you wanna grab your notebooks, you can too. Um, if you're wondering what notebooks I'm using, I'm using my PBJ notebooks uh, that we just launched from our company. PBJ app is basically my company that built a all-in-one workspace to help you grow. But I'm not gonna sell you today because obviously that's not today's video. <laughs> um, but if you would like, link below. I kid you not, my friends who know me always compliment my workflow because let me just show you what we're working at today, okay? So, are you ready? Are you ready, Mom? Yeah. My mom's here with me today. This is one of my workflows. You see I list the timestamps here, the tasks, and I even put like a little reflection. So as you can see, it's kind of organized, right? <laughs> one of my like brainstorm sheets looks like this. It's really crazy. Um, one of my layouts also looks like this. So as you can see, I've been playing around with so many layouts and this is the only one that you need. Like by far, out of every single fucking bullet journal video you've watched, the only thing that gets shit done is this layout we're gonna do right now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I need a response. Yes. Okay, let's get started. All right, so if you're someone who feels overwhelmed with all your tasks, this is how you break it down and achieve it in a time organized manner. This is the only way I get shit done. The first step is to write the date at the top corner and the time as which your day is starts. So my day starts at around 5.36 a.m. and it ends around 10. So I'm literally writing every single hour as you can see here. Now, what's super important is just to like do a brain dump. I always like to write here like task and just write all the things that I need to get done. I write it all first and then I schedule it. So today, basically first thing I need to do is I have to pick up some Amazon packages. The next thing I have to do is film a video, which is what we're filming right now. Hey, we're, we're tackling two things at once. What else? Cause I'm really stressed right now. I have to create a CRM for one of my consulting um, income streams like I consult brands and one of the things I do is spend way too much time on email So I need to automate that um, the next thing I need to do is shoot on some film because I really want to experiment filming uh, Shooting on film like a film camera or like a disposable camera um, in New York. Sorry. If it's so bouncy guys I'm really apologize. We're in the car. I feel like we should eat pizza today or, or pasta or yeah, pizza, hot dogs pizza, pizza, pizza. pizza. Yeah. New York pizza. Uh, I have a meeting at 5 p.m. with Jeff. Oh, so we have the meetup today. We have the meetup today. I <laughs> forgot that. My goal today is also to sleep eight hours. I kid you not. I have to write my goal is to sleep eight hours or I won't. Yeah. Here's a fun tip, okay? I kid you not. All my college friends, like, they don't sleep, right? On yeah. all my friends who are grinding it out, they don't sleep, which props to you. You're a hustler. My problem with that is. A lot of questions I get is like, Jay, do you sleep? How do you work everything? I plan my sleep. If you don't, you will. You can't complain that you're getting five hours of sleep if you don't plan your day through. Like, if you don't map it out, because you're never going to allocate that time, especially if, if you're busy. Um, so my biggest thing, and this is a weird tip, is to literally map out how much sleep you want each night. This changed my life, and it changed so many of your guys' life because I know a lot of you've been following it uh, from PBJ. So, listen up, okay? So. Write down you want eight hours of sleep one night. <laughs> oh, do you want to go to Primark? Get to Primark, just like shop a little bit. Oh, Times Square. Do you want to Times Square today? Yes. Times Square, okay. Okay, guys, so we listed all our tasks. There's around like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm really stressed. And whenever I don't, like, here's the thing, you guys, a little helpful uh, tip to remember is your brain only saves, I believe, seven to eight pieces of information at once. But your unconscious brain can save unlimited pieces of information. So it's super important, like if you're holding on to all your tasks, like you're never going to be able to accomplish it because you're, you can only do so many things at once, but if you put on paper, you can actually add as many things. So now I feel like a little bit. <laughs> so now you guys, this is where it gets life changing. After you write down your tasks, you want to write down the time estimation. I kid you not, if you don't estimate the time, if you don't have good time estimation skills, trust me, it gets better over time, um, time yourself, you will not be able to plan your day. It doesn't make sense how people put like a 20 hour task day in a 24 hour period. That means you get four hours of sleep. Like plan yourself out. So now that we have all the time estimations, um, it looks like this and it looks, it doesn't still look better. 
the only time it gets better is when you actually map it on your calendar and you realize wait a second i technically only have you know seven hours at work only like it's fun the first thing i do is because we have the time stamp on the left hand side or the right side we have the tasks what you want to do is circle or highlight the task that's most urgent so i have a yellow pen you can use any colors i'm using this this brand called um Stadler. it's really good i'll link below on amazon so basically my most important task is the meetup. I'm meeting you guys in New York, I'm so excited. And it's from 10 to 12, so I'm literally gonna shade in. I always switch different colors, like by urgency. So basically I do group one, which is yellow, and then group two is orange, which is like not like urgent, but not as urgent if that makes sense. Uh, oh shit, actually no, fuck that shit. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm doing this real time with you guys. I actually have to, I really do have to pick up my Amazon packages. That's important. Okay, that's gonna be right here. Okay, perfect, we got it, we got it. We, wow, I feel like we got two out of the nine things done already. Like I feel already excited because I know when I'm gonna do it and how long it's gonna take me. I think the biggest misconception you guys are having with your day is you feel overwhelmed because you don't know when you're gonna do it and how long it's gonna take you. That unknown is giving you a little bit of anxiety, so find that note. And the reason why I know these times is because I literally put a fucking timer on myself sometimes, so you'll get better over time, I trust me. I need to film the video, so that's gonna take, well like my filming, okay, I need to do, uh, let me think. I need to go to the film shop, so that's the filming shop. Probably will be filming shop, and then eating pizza will probably be 12 to one. Okay, so basically now you guys, um, I'm doing from 12 to two, I'm filming a video while eating pizza for my film camera video, um, and that should be fun. And I'm also gonna throw in, oh shoot, ah shoot, uh, how do I do this? Um, Times Square in the mix of it, but travel time is going to take a long time. Alright, so now from actually 12 to 3, we have Times Square pizza and filming a video at a film shop. Um, and the last thing is I take green, which is like things that I wish I could do today, but I don't have to urgently. And I'll, that's group 3, where I'll bunch up and like kind of really just kind of group together projects that I know um, are like the things that I can do lastly. For me, it's creating a CRM system meeting with Sam um, and unfortunately eight hours of sleep is my last grouping because <laughs> I still need to get work done you know me I'm a little bit of a workaholic but um, yeah so I think this is it's actually gonna work okay so then I go home perfect okay guys we did it oh I forgot dinner we should probably get food for dinner yeah mm -hmm. okay then from here from here okay from here to here dinner you guys are you ready dun 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 here it is. This is my day laid out. From every hour to every time estimation, we have something done. Um, and it's not too bad because I actually have time for eight hours of sleep. Do you guys see? Like I, I'm going to bed at nine. And I'm gonna wake up at five tomorrow because um, that is how you do it, okay? You can't fit everything in. And one little hack I have, you guys, if you find that, for example, yesterday, I literally didn't have time for eight hours of sleep. I find that if you do lack the ability to fit everything in one day, you have two options, okay? Don't stress out. You can either cut down on a certain project's time. For example, if it takes an hour, you can ask yourself, can I do this in 30 minutes? And maybe resume it later on. That is so key. I'm gonna give you an example yesterday. Yesterday, I had around 20 tasks. I kid you not. I'll put a screenshot right here. And those 20 tasks made me literally like, I couldn't do it in one day, but I had to. So I asked myself, can I do this in half the time? Or you can also ask yourself, can someone else do it for me? Mm. Like, do I have to do it? Do you, can you allocate? Can you outsource? Um, if you're in school, you probably can't outsource. Actually, no, mom. I, mom, you did my homework at one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, don't get that wrong, messed up. My mom helped me type essays when I was like really stressed with oh, like yeah, music yeah. and everything. So, <laughs> but don't ask your mom to <laughs> do your homework. But um, no, I did my homework, guys. Don't go to school, you know, do your shit. If you don't feel like you can do everything, ask yourself, can I do it in half the time and allocate the rest half the next day? Or am I okay with outsourcing it? Maybe have less better quality. If you run a business, can I ask a photographer to edit my photos? Um, that's always a question I do. Like, why did I pick this task? If it's a schoolwork, then you have no choice. But if it's like work or stuff, like you don't have to, you have the option and freedom to choose. And I never knew that was a possibility uh, until I started running my business because like, for the longest time, I was like, everything's on me. Like, I have to do it. And now, say I can't do my CRM or some of my phone calls with my clients, like, I'll probably outsource it or refer it to someone else. Because um, you don't have to do everything at once. I think the biggest thing is like, being good at time management is saying no to the right things. You don't need to say yes to everything. So, um, that's what I do. 
every single day pruning don't take everything at once you don't need to say yes um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this real-time video because I was literally like before I hopped into this car I was literally so stressed but now I feel better and I hope you do too because if not uh, don't subscribe <laughs> alright guys I love you so much make sure you give this video a like and subscribe I know a lot of you guys were looking at how I plan my day this is it if this was any help at all let me know in the comments below I have more layouts because as you can see on my journal I have multiple spreadsheets like this is my daily tasks but if you want to see my weekly and monthly spreads let me know I will literally make that for free you guys know I got you I'll see you guys soon at the meetup Dharma Nation I love you Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Also, I'm on tour, so make sure you come to tour. I'm heading to London, Paris, Milan, and Munich. So come to a tour, or else I'll cry. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.